the hardest sequencing has been in in the in the Congo. Jeez, that that like even, that I like anxiety prep before going. That sounds like, like the best adventure ever. You get out was, there, you're like I forgot my like, yeah, like packing was, before and, a trip. And it was one of those things where you're just like, oh my god, like we're all getting in these two vehicles, and everything we need to do this sequencing has to be in here. Wow. And we don't do like a we have like a group of people, right? It's like somebody's in charge of the extraction stuff. And then yeah. you have the people that are doing the sequencing and then you have, okay, do we have enough computer backup? Like, mm -hmm. are we going to do this? Is this going to happen? And you just drive for five hours and you're like, <laughs> and the farmers oh. greet you and they're just like, no, number one, they've never seen a white person in person, right? Wow. So that we step out as this mixed group of people. And then a woman scientist, they're just like, what Whoa. the hell is going on here? <laughs> but it's so cool to do it on the farm. I mean, it's yeah. so... It Farmers sounds like, know. It sounds like the adventure of a lifetime. Yeah. It is. So you yeah. tell me, what shall we do first? Shall we, um, shall I get all the things out? Yeah, yeah, we can get everything out that we need. Um, we can even do, I like I brought you, I am accidentally stepping on oh, this yeah, no flat. Worries. Sorry about that. No worries. Um, I don't, we have compute. I brought two computers just in case our analysis. And I think that my goal for today is one, you, you're going to do the flow cell loading. Sweet. You're doing the whole. Nice. So I think we should first practice a little bit on flow cell loading. Okay. Then, then let's just do the library prep. Cool. And I feel like a successful day will be the thing is running and we're generating sequences. Yeah. That like that's like end goal. Like it's sitting day. here yeah. and we start getting sequences and ah! we just start getting sequences today. Yeah. I, and then, the, and then we'll program it to run for three days. Okay. And then we're just going to burn the hell out of your flow cell. Sounds just run great. it, run it, run it, run it. And then I have a feeling that we'll need, we'll just, the, the data analysis part's going to be hard. Yeah. It's, it will be the hardest part. Yeah. But I wanted it, to do the hardest thing that I could possibly yeah, do. Yeah, I thought yeah. you, I thought it'd be a good idea. 30 yeah. million base pairs to put back <laughs> together. I'm like, what in the hell are with these genomes? I'm, we do viral genomes, right? So they're okay. only 10,000. ATG. And you said this was 30? This is 30 million. 30, oh, 30 million. Oh, my. <laughs> this is 30. The, the fungal genomes are, are big. Um, Hang on. So I have, I, I was going to get the, the DNA extracted from a Petri dish of mycelium. Yeah. Cool. Um, because I don't really have many fruiting bodies, which are I, more ideal. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to separate the agar out, which I've been able to do yeah, with cool. heat. Yeah. I've never, I developed this mycelial extraction method just playing around in here because I had to, I, I developed this, I read a Korean research paper on cordyceps breeding and that's where I found the primers for this mm. even and then I, um, they didn't, they didn't detail how they extracted the, the, the mycelium, the DNA from the mycelium, but they said they did it for mycelium so I figured they had to have done something yeah, similar to like this, this. Yeah, okay. and it worked the first time okay. I did it, luckily. I would have tried at least three or four times because I know it doesn't work the first time always, but it worked the first time I did it. Um, so what I like to do for this, because we're going to be doing this a lot when we do the mating type stuff, is I kind of like go for like a little like strip and cut the one end that's further away from me and then kind of like glide the scalpel across the top because you really don't want agar in there. Like get as least, if you can peel it off, you know how sometimes the mycelium just peels off? Yeah. If you can peel it off, do that. Okay. Because that agar is going to melt. Oh, shoot. That agar is going to melt in the, shoot, it's going to melt in the dish. And then I'll have to separate it with the centrifuge. Jeez, why am I? I'm all nervous. Too yeah, many eyes. Too, too many eyes. It's like yeah. trying to find a, a file on your computer when people are looking. You're yeah. like, no, the first like, the first time I ever like worked in here with him, I was like my shaking. hands felt like I shaking. Know, right? I was like so nervous. <laughs> so it's no, you guys, no, there's no need to be any kind of nervous. Just we're just doing our things here. So I got the samples in there, and I'm going to add extraction solution and then pulverize them with a pestle. But I don't have a pestle. I couldn't find mine. Well, we're gonna make them. Sick. All right, so I'm about to do. I'm about to add extraction, homemade extraction solution to um, some PCR tubes or some centrifuge tubes that have a couple different samples of uh, cordyceps mycelium and one that has a fruiting body sample in it. 
So we're gonna add the extraction solution to get the DNA out of the cells. And we're here with Laura. We got Mikey in the back, and James is here as well. <laughs> Still hand over there. We're sciencing together. Oh yeah. Big science. I mean, let's do it. Alrighty. The extraction solution you can like not only does it extract the DNA out, but you can see the the pigments. Ah. Even from the mycelium you can see the pigments. Oh wow. Yeah. Even when I get it, like I don't purify my D I don't I've never purified my yeah, DNA. Yeah, that's fine. Um so so a lot of my a lot of my samples have uh, you there? pigment oh, in good. it still. Oops, that one's not done yet. Not done yet? Okay, well let's let me get to it. Is it important to purify it, uh, DNA for, for this? I mean, there are a lot of people that are really, like, they do a lot of work on the DNA purity and, like, making sure it's amazing quality and whatever, but the equipment to do that is expensive to quantify and all of that. You need like a spectrophotometer. And... Yeah, I was looking at the qubits. Yeah, so I think for me on this, what I think we're going to do today is whatever we're not going to quantify, which is like. Yeah, I mean. Well, it is what it, it is. is. Yeah, we're it is citizen it is. sciencing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we'll know. Yeah. We will know whether it worked or not. I think I did a crap job on this. I think Wow, you're look at the orange <laughs> pigment on you're that one. At this, I think I suck. At look that. at that one. Was that the fruiting body? Or yeah, that, that was the fruiting body. Okay. I'm so happy we're, I, I added something. Oh, just one more. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm only, do you think okay. we should do more than this? No, that's perfect. Okay, and what's next is we're gonna put on the a heat block, which, Okay. I, nece I don't necessarily have a real heat block. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, my magnetic plate is in the garage. I'm gonna go grab my magnetic plate. I got you. It's on Sweet. Channel. Yeah. And uh, we'll tune back in with you guys because this process is gonna take a minute, but we'll be back and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. I know how to do distillation of, of compounds. Like I can make almost anything I need if I need to make it. You can do it there. Yeah, like so I can grow whatever I need and then I can extract whatever I need from it and then I can distill single isolated compounds. That's of what the I way need to go. It. Yeah. And then there's nobody telling me that I can't do whatever science I want to do. And it's cheaper to buy everything and live down there. So I can do the science way cheaper down there and yeah, make everything myself. No, totally. Right now, yeah. okay, I'm loving that. <laughs> Gotta set the vibe. I mean, we ha we have to. All good vibes go in here. Yeah. The DNA is extracted there. The DNA is in this solution. Okay, perfect. I just I, I I would like to separate the little bit of um what the heck do they call that stuff at the bottom? I don't There's know. like a technical term for there it. There probably something. is, but it's probably boring. It's um, probably a boring term. Well, yeah, so the DNA and solution. Right. So normally, do you just take an aliquot of that and put it in your master? Like when you do a PCR, is there a step um, after this? or? So what I do next is I mix my primers to, sit, to isolate which gene I want. Mm -hmm. And then I mix my master mix uh -huh. all together mm -hmm. with some clean water. And I put yep. it in, uh, then I put it into the little tubes. Like after I mix that all together, then I put it in the PCR tube and run the okay. PCR. Do we need to run PCR? No, no, we... no. We're just, if the DNA is there, then yeah. I think, okay, so I think we'll do, since this is our first kind of like learning run, mm -hmm. we're going to go with the simplest way possible. Because in my opinion, if the least complicated way gets us something, mm -hmm. why complicate it? Fact. I'm just saying for me. Yeah. The nano poor people would probably roll over and die hey, if, if I works. said that. But like for me, I'm somebody, why introduce a step if you don't have to? If it works, then right. we've done them a favor. Right, exactly. And I, I think that like Monica said, these are from pure cultures. Yeah. So there's not going to be a lot of like junk in the DNA, right? Like if you went out and, and you had a, uh, your, in you gotta forest. help me, like the for the, the body that I see the that fruiting body, the mushroom, yeah. The mushroom. Like if you took the mushroom 
and did a DNA extraction. There might be other like junk on there, right? Yeah, maybe, like, like maybe bacteria. We have to isolate so much stuff when we bring it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that like the DNA in there is probably really pure. So we don't, we don't have to worry. I mean, we can, I think there's, I'm going to have to help find a way to like get you something to quantify the stuff yeah i i, I mean I, I, we'll I, work we can work on some things i want to i was gonna say i'm gonna get a used qubit on ebay yeah i know some people that know some people sweet i that mean, need to like give us some things yeah I need you know what i'm saying things. i do need i mean we need i am i think it's all about getting some free things yes I, I mean, I have a hundred thousand people looking at the work that I do. Yeah, you do. Every you day. Do. I mean, I, I was making the point to me the other day. I was like, there's like, there's professional athletes that companies Sponsors. have products that they want them to use while they're yeah. doing their thing that they're good at doing. No, you know, no. Like... and for me, like I need, to, I need to, I can, part of my job is to help here, help make the, make the things happen. I don't know where to start with this. So the alter I think the interesting thing about the nanopore sequencing is the alternative is a machine the size of almost this table and costs a million dollars, right? To actually get DNA sequencing in the past, you've had to have these like gigantic machines okay. that this cost is, like tons of money, right? This is a little more handheld then. <laughs> this is handheld. And this thing, this thing is like a thousand bucks it was a thousand bucks to buy yeah, it a thousand like a bucks thousand. to buy it yeah yeah like 1500 with the whole kit and everything right yeah. so so the this whole thing kind of revolutionized the game in terms of like people being able to do sequencing yeah at home or in like we are here in the home lab or whatever so this is such a cool invention and the invention really isn't in this device the invention is here on this flow cell okay. so you can see that like the bottom has some ASCII like electronics so these electronics I think are the things that make it really expensive the ASIC or yeah whatever. the ASIC so the idea of this whole thing is that it's called nanopore because there are little pores on this membrane okay so in there if we were like zoom in on that little membrane there's 2,000 little pores okay so, like a protein like a protein you, is embedded this, I was about to say, this is the part that william was explaining to me yeah, and that's okay. what the proteins then pull yes. the strands of dna exactly through the pore. exactly so you know okay yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess i'm not completely in the dark i sold no. myself a little short no, you did. and the thing is i'm just pointing this out because all of those little things are on are there those are all there are many there. nanopores in yeah there. in there okay so the whole point of this is like, I'm just gonna, when you look at this flow cell, you think like, oh my God, it's confusing, it's hard, it seems a lot, but if you know that there are pores and DNA goes through there, electricity, the idea is A, T, G, and C, right? Those are the options for DNA, okay. minus the epigenome, which is a whole nother situation. <laughs> so hold, we're gonna stick to the A, T, G, and C. Okay. <laughs> when A, T, G, and C go through the pore, they're different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. Like the chemical structure of an A is different than a T is different than a G and a C, right? We have the pyrimidines and the purines. <laughs> not, no, not no. I know, whatever. Not, we haven't got okay, that two, two, <laughs> two of the base pairs are bigger than the others, right? The, okay. whole, the whole thing you need to know is that there are these four things that make up life. They have different structures. When they go through a pore and electricity goes across them, they're going to reflect or the electricity is not going to go through A and T and G all the same. Right. Okay. So like A goes through here and it gives a signal, but then like T goes through there and it gives a slightly different one because it's different shape. Right. It's a slightly different shape. So every bit of your fungal genome is going to go through there. And if it's an A, it'll give a squiggle like this, a G, a squiggle like this, a T like this, a C like this. And then if you have two C's in a row, so it's all about the size of the the nucleotide going through the pore and how it interacts with the electricity that's coming okay. from here. Is it is it okay? Is yeah, it? Yeah, no, 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 that makes sense. It's a, it's a bizarre concept, but basically the base pairs are different sizes. They hit the pore, they reflect the electricity differently. I'm sure I'm using the wrong word. But, no, this is how, how like the light refra refracts. Or yeah, refract. Yeah, it's, like that's the way I yeah. look at no, it. No, no, no. Right? What you're saying is definitely like yeah. clicking. It makes yeah. sense. You're explaining I, it well. For... So basically, you just the data that comes off of this is not. A, T, G, and C, right? Like in our heads, we think, oh, we just drop something on here and all of a sudden, like, we oh my God, letters. it's a genome. Yeah. But it's really, this thing generates signal. Okay. They call it signal or they call it squiggles. 
Because, like, it looks like a little squiggle. Like, an A will give you a squiggle like this pattern. A G gives you a squiggle like this pattern. And a T and a C and so forth, right? So, and we're this is happening real time on hundreds of cores. Like, this is the technical part. The rest of it is just pipetting like you do for your PCRs and for your other things. I don't... Everything else is doable. This part takes the technical. But if you practice, like, I'll leave you guys these flow cells so you can practice with them and teach other people that's awesome. the what that's the whole point of this oh my world. gosh thank you like so no 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 you yeah, guys this, this need is to, such a like no but you need experience. to practice you need yeah. to practice like yep yep one more clip. yeah perfect and then just lift straight up that away perfect <laughs> yep right. you're good and okay i'm no setting one. to 800 you're setting to 800 yep jamie the first time you touch the pipette you did the coolest thing ever nailed. you could possibly do nailed. right nailed. <laughs> nailed. <laughs> nailed. <laughs> oh my god so good he's a natural yeah so you are a natural so yeah you can inject that okay now <laughs> and the thing is i've had so much experience teaching people that don't really have any experience with pipettes, right? Because in in East Africa, it's really like the level of where people are is like all over the place. Yeah. And most scientists like myself never have access to people that don't know what a pipette is because we live in this little world in our ivory tower doing whatever the hell we think we're doing. Yeah, when I went to that class, it was I so mean... weird that people didn't know. Because like I'm used to like in the mushroom world, people are used to everybody not knowing anything. Yeah, like, what's and going you're all on. just like trying. But I went there and they're like, I'm from like NIH or like da 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 da, da or like I'm from this university and they came around to me and I'm just like I I'm paid Will. for myself to get here from my own laboratory yeah, in my in own my, house. In my basement. Yeah. My yeah, and I was just like I mean like I, I there was a couple people that were like trying to talk to me where I could understand yeah. from, but like that was an expensive class that people paid a lot of money to be yeah. at, so they couldn't slow down just for me. No, yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. But I feel like we're okay. Yeah. And we got Yeah, I I I feel very comfortable. Yeah, so you great. got you got your DNA. A lot of people we keep you're gonna keep some of these so when you get people over you can practice, you keep this okay. paper. Okay. And I always feel like there's gotta be a way that you can make this more, you know, palatable to citizen scientists. I mean this is my scribble or whatever. Oh yeah. But I'm I sure can you do, can I make can, a thing and I make can make a, something look really cool. Yeah. yeah. So Thank I mean, you. this is your thing. So we've done that. So now I think our next step, guys, is to library get prep. library prep. So they call this thing library preparation, which I think is such a weird word. But it's basically like we need to put, um, I guess I would call them adapters. So you need something to hook onto the DNA that's going to talk to that pore, right? That pore that is floating on that membrane. It doesn't just automatically land there. There's like some, some. Let me see if there's a picture in here. I should have, I should have done more preparation on like. This is this is a bad picture, but basically you have little adapters that you want to hook onto your DNA that will guide it to that pore. Do you know what I'm trying is to that, say? Is that like the proteins we were talking yeah, about? Yeah, those proteins living on the pore, right? And you need to get your DNA your 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 fun fungal dna needs to somehow get on to that pore right mm -hmm. and there's adapters that sit there and you put the adapter on the dna and then it it hits that protein there's a motor protein that moves it through okay so, so this the adapter is not the protein right exactly the adapter is something different so the idea here is we want to get our dna prepared to meet that pore okay is the whole point of this. So basically we do, you have your DNA in there, right? Mm -hmm. We're starting here. You have your DNA there. Okay. And then we're going to add 2.5 microliters of each of the barcodes. So the first step is like, let's attach the adapter so you can, we can put two samples together, right? Okay. So we do two, into your tube, you're going to put 2.5 of number one and two. Number two and you're going to mix it and spin it down, then we're going to incubate. Okay. Let it ride. Just for a sec. Oh my god, I'm loving that. Whoa. That's perfect. Perfect. 
Oh my god, the CEO of Bio Team has been watching us on Instagram Live. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, boss, boss. Wow. They're not even paying me for today. I, I didn't. I just said, look, on Saturday, I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even write. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm like. I was just going to put this phone away and then I was like, he's like, Laura, I've been watching you guys a bit this morning. So fun. I wish I was there with you. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. my God. Wow. I didn't, I, I didn't think anybody that I knew. Wow. <laughs> CEO of the company. Wow. Should we have been more careful about what Did we're saying? Think? No, no, no. I think it's a shit one. <laughs> it doesn't a, even matter. It's, a, it's my Instagram. My Instagram is... <laughs> we'll bleep it out. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, this, I don't this even care. You know what? For me, I don't even care. I am who I am. Honestly, yeah. you know that about me. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, I, I learned a long time ago to just be my own self. Like, what matters to me doesn't... Like, the rewards... This is so much more rewarding to me than any scientific paper I will ever publish will. Like, this is exactly why you do science. I mean, we can feel it in the air. We're all been like so giggly and like little kids all day. But it's so cool. It's like, I feel like it's like when musicians have a collab, you know, like they get together and have a jam session. That's what mm -hmm. we're doing here. Like, I have some skill, you have some skill, and we're seeing if like we can do something. And it's, this is bigger than us, which is so cool. Because yeah. you have so many people that you know. I have so many people I know. It's, it's, it's a collaboration <laughs> of two worlds that have been meaning to connect for a long time. For a long time. We are the stewards. And the whole point of this heating step is to like put the adapter onto your DNA. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're live, we're lit, we're here in the moment, living in the moment, mm -hmm. maximum. We've got 961 active cores, and we're going to get this flow cell loaded onto the MK1, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's like little kid on Christmas I know. Live. is it Christmas? Yeah, yeah, this, I, this is the Pokedex, guys. I'm literally about to be cataloging mushroom DNA on a Pokédex, is what's happening today in my house. My childhood dreams are coming true. Yes. Oh my god. What you're doing next? 75. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 75 yeah. microliters of the library is going to get loaded into this flow cell <laughs> right now. <laughs> I mean, well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even a human anymore. You're not. No. I don't even know what this is. This no. is some level of consciousness that I never thought I no. was achievable. No. Drop by drop will. Okay. Let's go. Drop by drop. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. <laughs> okay. Alright. Ooh. Oh, all right, it's going in. It's going in. All right. Okay. I think my thumb is like... It's okay, you got it, you got it. There's some on the side, is that You'll okay? You'll be able to suck it up at the end and okay. stick it in there. Yeah, you got it, you got it. All right. Ah. There's like a little bit off the side. Let's I leave it. Let's leave, leave it? it? Let's leave it, because yeah, I think you've got enough in there. Let's okay. just take a photo of it, so we know we have our record of what, what okay. we were. So I shouldn't suck that up, I should just I, not... I think we would, we could, we, the risk of maybe damaging or functioning. Yeah. I think we've got enough. Okay. I think we've got enough. Okay. We're making an exact, okay, now you're going to replace your... Spot on. Your spot on, yep. And you're priming. Okay. Close that sucker. Turn this on. And close this bad boy. Shredding. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> wow. I mean, it happened. It happened. Wow. I mean. And you can click through these. Show us. 
so we'll just see what it's going to do. It's getting itself organized. Okay, you're sequencing. Wow! <laughs> Yeah. I need to get a video of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, we're secretly DNA in your Cumberland in my yeah. basement, bro. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's wow. happening. It's happening. Wow. I mean, it's wild. It's totally wild. I mean, you can see the reed lights starting to come in. Like you've got thousand base pair reads starting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's happening. I I cannot. I'm, Can you? No, I cannot. <laughs> no, no. It's like no. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for years. We we just sequence cordyceps DNA. Like we have right. cordyceps DNA sequencing at home in the basement. Big like, wives. <laughs> <laughs> sequencing. Woo. All right, it's good. We're, we're going to be seeing more of this. Everything's documented. Big thanks to Mikey. If you guys wonder why we're asking for donations, because other people's times are involved in these things too. Other people's time and effort is involved in these things too. So we want to make sure that everybody's taken care of, make sure that this science is properly digestible with good video content and not just stuff off my cell phone anymore. We're going to make sure that this is appropriately delivered to you guys. Much love. Peace. Have the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's happening!